So, I know you read the title and you're like, what is wrong with this girl? But I can explain. Let me tell you something. But I kind of want an iced matcha latte first. Mm -hmm. So let's go get it. She got me entangled, faking me like Rango, dancing like it's tango. I'm in over my head, over my head. She got me entangled. Okay, so since I got my matcha latte, I could technically explain the title of my video to you right now, but I think we should go somewhere secluded just in case. Um, even after I explain it to you, you don't agree with me, so I need to um, uh, take care of you. I'm in over my head, over my head, over my head Two left feet, I'm twisted up Three step in, two's not enough For you, it's the price of pay Five below, almost in the grave Gotta hand it to you, got me stumbling hard I got the sinking feeling that you're like leading me on I don't mind it, kinda like it Okay, I feel like this is secluded enough for me to finally get to the point why I must always make one dollar more than my sister. Let's get into it. So I am the oldest daughter, right? I'm the oldest sibling and, and from a young age, my parents kind of expected that I should be a role model for my sister and also my cousins because I'm older than most of them. So in general, I kind of put this pressure on myself that I needed to be a role model for all these people. And as a result, I have role model trauma. Um, and recently, I just finished university, I finished my master's degree, I'm 22 now, and I need to get into the workforce. And my sister is about to enter her third year of college. And the other day, we were just talking about random things, about interviews, things that you can say that can set you apart. And she mentions David Bowie bonds. She's talking about how David Bowie sold bonds for his, something about, for his concert. And I was like, why do you know what a bond is? Where are you learning this? Since when did you get so smart? And why are you teaching me things? Because I'm the older sibling. Only I should be teaching you things. You shouldn't be telling me things. And then I was like, oh my God. They're here to rescue me. <laughs> but I was like, actually though, oh my God, when did you get so smart? Like, this is so weird. Aren't you supposed to be dumb? And then I started to realize that in the future, my sister could be smarter than me. And I was like, excuse me, since where, where is that coming from? Like, as someone, who ties a lot of my self-worth to being someone's boss, an older sibling, I can't let this happen. And I just started feeling so insecure. And I was like, well, I always need to make more money than my sister because if I don't make more money than my sister, she's just gonna look to someone else to be her role model, not me anymore. And obviously you can look up to someone like money isn't the only indicator of success. You can look up to someone for so many reasons. You can look up to them for their very disciplined daily routine or the way they handle relationships or the way they just carry themselves and live life. But none of those things are actually easily quantifiable. So I was like, she's just gonna find another role model if I don't make more money than her. And that's not because I'm jealous of her, not because I'm trying to compete with her. I just need her to always think that I'm her role model. So I came to the conclusion because I also want to see my sister succeed as much as me and I know I'm gonna be rich AF. I hope. But I realized that I must ensure that I always make exactly one dollar more than my sister. So if I'm successful, she's successful. But she's not as successful as me because I'll always be one dollar richer. Did that hit? I feel like it didn't hit as hard as I thought it would be. Like I didn't have to be doing all this routine and coming here and all that just to say that I want to be one dollar richer than my sister. But it's not aesthetic though. Yeah. Pull me closer now. Pull me closer now. Pull me closer now. Pull me closer. Pull me closer. Did you like that?